Good afternoon, this is Pat Walker doing a video overview of the ETFs. You can say, Pat, why do we do this? It's not because I like to look at a bunch of charts, and I don't think y'all do either, okay? But we've got a limited amount of money and a limited amount of time, and we might as well use it wisely. Here's a fact for you. Leading groups produce leading stocks. Leading stocks produce leading groups. By looking at the ETFs, we can see where there is strength or strength is developing or where there's weakness, areas to avoid. Helps us make better investing decisions. So let's just run through them. Taking a look here, we've got, and this is in alphabetical order, just to let you know, it's not ranked any other way, just alphabetical. Cloud computing, just basing here, longer base, low level base, tremendous amount of overhead, okay? Not a real leadership group, but maybe it's gonna turn the corner. There you go. Not, Folks, this is overhead supply. A lot of overhead supply, you gotta be careful with that. Electric vehicles picking up a little bit, Higher low, but pretty choppy. Tons of overhead supply. Eh, you know, got to be a little careful with that. Dow Jones Internet, it's just basing down here. Here's one nice thing. It's a nice long base. Maybe it'll turn the corner. It is basing, and most huge moves come from a base. So maybe, but again, a ton of overhead supply. All these are indicative of the problems, the overhead, the rough actions been in the markets. Look at this. Check this out. This is the IBD 50 ETF. This is the ETF of, of the IBD 50 stocks. Those are great stocks, team. They're, they're vetted. They've done their work. But it shows you how crummy, and I'm keeping it clean, how crummy the market's been. Look at that. That's, that's tough action, folks. From, what, what do we got here? From 52 down to 22? That's, and again, that's not slamming the IBD 50. No way. It's just pointing out the action's been tough for growth stocks for a while. We don't argue with it. We get in line with it. But even in this decline, there were some charts that were had great setups where money was made. There we go. We're looking for it. Gold miners. See that base right there? Right here. See this low level base right here? And then a higher level one right here. Down here, that first buy, that was bought there. Look at the base. So this is right here. Look at that. And that's, that's clean and simple base, and it takes off on volume. That's what we're after. And I'll scroll back and show you. It's working. It's working great. There you go. Clean and simple bases. This is why we do this. It's like, oh, there's nothing good going on. I'm not going to look at any charts. The heck with it. No, it's a business, and we run it like one. Oh, it's, you know, you own a store. Eh, it's going to rain tomorrow. We're not going to have any customers. We just, you know, might as well shut the doors. What? No, it's a business. We run it like one. We're always prepared. That's Boy Scout motto, right? Be prepared. There we go. Clean and simple base, grinding on up. There you go. IBB, pushing across here, but note, it breaks up and it, it stalls. Look at it. It breaks out on heavy volume on the weekly, folks. Look, and it does nothing. It's indicative of the kind of market we're in, a market that doesn't have a lot of power, but it is starting to turn a little bit, and that is a plus. Continue onwards. <clears throat> Online retail. Just going sideways. Starting to pick up a little bit here. Okay. What's a chunk of that? Amazon. Amazon. It is basing and maybe it'll take out these tops. Good volume on that bar right there. Okay. But note, it does trade a little thinner too. But it looks like it's starting to turn a corner. And that's a plus. That's going to be a common theme in this video, by the way. Oil and gas had been strong, just basing here, uh, turning a corner a little bit. There's no real clean setup there, okay? Uh, software technology is picking up a little bit. Not a lot of power, but it is picking up a little bit. U.S. medicine's picking up a little bit. Decent base here on the daily. Decent tops here on the weekly. There you go. I'll do something for you. Please don't think that every base has to be a flat base. It can be a slight downward sloping trend line, slight. You have a low level cup with handle, but what does it need to do? Push through these tops on volume. A lot of overhead supply though. Let's continue onwards. <clears throat> Mid cap, you can see this base here. It's starting to pick up a little bit. It's starting to improve a little bit. And that's a plus. I'm not saying buy it, but it's just telling us, oh, it looks like things are getting a little better. And that's good. That's, that's information that's useful. U.S. home construction has this long base. 
Well, this is a poster child of the market. Runs up and they take it down. Runs up, not a lot of power there. Back and forth and back and forth. It's just a tougher market. But it does look like there's some improvement coming across. And you can see it in the charts. The charts don't lie. So, uh, now this one, look at growth. This is still lagging here, folks. There's not a lot of power here at all. That tells you, I better be careful. This is the S&P 500 growth. Okay, iShares, not a lot of power yet. Be cautious. IWM Weekly starts to pick up. I'm going to update this. Starts to pick up. Just, just basing here. Needs to take out these tops here and here. And I'll draw this for you as a service. Nothing fancy. Just clean and simple flat base. What's it need to do? It needs to take that out. You need to take that line out here, here, and do it on volume. IWM. Jets. Airlines picking up a little bit. Now, look at this. See, this is what's kind of neat. And this is why we do this. You can say, oh, there's, there's a base right there. You know, I guess if it takes out that line on volume, that'd be pretty good. And it did. It pushed through. Not a huge move, but picked up a little bit. There you go. Not saying buy it, but this is why we do this. To help us, to guide us on areas to look for opportunities to make money and areas to avoid to save money. Right here. Regional banking? Nope. Move on. I mean, you don't have to overthink it. That's beautiful. Mid cap. See the base right here? Okay, that's good. Here it is on the daily. Maybe it'll take out that line on volume. Show, what would that tell us? The rally's spreading out into the mid cap sector too. And that's good to know. Oil services started to lift up right here. And this is a poster child for the kind of market. Goes up and they take it right back down on volume. Look at that. You know, kind of market we're in. Tells us still to still be air to the side of caution. Online retail, long base down here, lower level base, tremendous amount of overhead supply. Look at this. What does that tell you? Maybe it's going to push through that base, but it's going to have to do it on real volume. And there's going to be sellers overhead all the way. Pharmaceuticals has a decent base right here. Needs to take out these tops on good volume. That's what you're looking for. Maybe it's going to form a little handle here. and You'll have a V-shaped cup with a handle. QLD, NASDAQ 100. You know, I was telling earlier about it. Eh, the market's been tough. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Folks, this thing lost almost two-thirds of its value. Okay? From 99 all the way down to close to 33. Now, it didn't hit 99. It hit 90, near 95. Okay? So, I want to be specific with you. But you can see, this is why we're really cautious with a lot of the NASDAQ 100 stocks. It's telling you, but there were opportunities in this too. You see right here in July, had a higher low setup. That was good money. And we hit it hard with some max list stocks. I can document that too. Just basing here, not a lot of power at this point in time. However, <clears throat> it did lift off and it outperformed SSO here on Friday. So we'll see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Continue on where there's QQQ. Picking up the same thing as SSO. That's decent to see. Continue online. Retailing is still sloppy. There's not a lot of power there. You got to be cautious. Cloud computing, just chopping around. Decent volume. Low level base. Not a lot of, you're not going to see this in any book saying, um, this is what you want to look for. This is it right here. This is where you go big. Tons of overhead supply in cloud computing. You got to be careful with cloud computing stocks. Silver's basing up here. He had a base break out here. Trades a little thin. Okay, but it's, you know, looks decent. Silver, silver and gold. Steel starts to lift up, kind of grinding. Never had a lot of volume, did it? So, looks better than some of them, though. You might look into steel. All right, here we go. Semiconductors, technology, going maybe across these tops. But note, tail bar, tail bar, tail bar, tail bar. What does that tell us? There's a seller up there. Be cautious with that. Needs to push through there with volume. There's the S&P 500. And it's picking up a little bit. And that's good to see. Maybe it'll continue. We'll have to watch and see. Long downward slope and trend line. Look at that. Maybe cautious. Let's continue on. SSO, similar situation. Picking up a little bit. Needs to take out these tops here and do it on volume. Maybe it will. But even on Friday, it lifted off. There wasn't a lot of volume on it. There wasn't a lot of power. Be cautious with that. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. Go where they're voting. Solar's got a decent base right here. You can see it on the weekly. 
you can see it on the daily. And I'll draw this for you. Maybe it'll take that out. It's okay. It's okay. Small cap, tops up here, a lot of overhead supply there. It's pretty choppy here. Be careful with small cap. Uranium's picking up a little bit. That's one of the better looking bases right there, isn't it? Going across these tops. Looks decent on the weekly, decent on the daily. Something to maybe look into. Takes out these highs on good volume and a good market. The M and Mission winners. Market comes first. Don't ignore the market. Oil, a lot of overhead supply, kind of loose. Be cautious with that. Aerospace and defense, not a lot of action really here, okay? It didn't even take out yesterday's highs yesterday. Biotechnology, what does this tell you? Lifted a little bit, but notice that up volume was basically less than all the down volume bars. Pretty loose here. Be cautious with that. Maybe it'll settle down and form a handle and take out these tops, which corresponds. This is why I look at weekly and daily. Takes that line out. Could form a cup with a handle. There we go. But a ton of overhead supply here, folks. Be aware of that. We're about done. Home builders picked up a little bit, but it's it's choppy here, folks. There's a lot of tails in there. Be cautious with that. Materials <clears throat> picking up a little bit. You can see these tops right here. Here's the weekly. You can see the tops. You can see it on the daily. What's it need to do? Take out. Take that out with volume. There we go. Energy. Some tops right here, and I'll draw this for you as a service. There you go. This is a pretty simple flat line. Just take these tops out, form a little cup with a handle. Maybe, maybe. Let me update this. Continue on, we're about done. Industrials. I just showed you some ETFs that they're starting to pick up a little bit. This really ain't doing much at all, is it? Tells you to be careful with industrials. Industrial technology picked up a little bit. There's a low level cup for me right here. What's it need to do? Take that out on heavy volume. It needs volume. People, I'll say it again. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. We want to see it push through there on volume. Now, what does this tell you? This is why we do this. In one second, it says, I ain't looking at any consumer staple stocks. Right. It's great to know what to buy. It's also great to know what areas to avoid. Both pieces of information help us make better investing decisions. Areas to stay away from, right there, leave it alone. Here we go, utilities, not a lot of power there, I'd stay away from those. Healthcare, there's not a lot of power there, I'd stay away from that, there's, just, there's nothing happening there, folks. A consumer discretionary, Picking up a bit, but it's loose. Look at this. This is too loose. I'd be cautious with that. Just laying it out there. Metals and mining, they picked up a little bit through here, didn't they? Pulled back. Maybe look at this. Bouncing off the rising ADMA. You could look at some metals and mining stocks. Doesn't look bad on the weekly either. There you go. Again, we're about done. Oil. Picking up some oil and gas. Uh, it's okay, but it is a little loose. One thing I will say, though, is there's a little accumulation coming into it. See the green bars? That's a plus in oil and gas. We like that. Retailing, uh, it's kind of loose here, folks. You got some selling bars in here. You got some big topping tails. I'd be cautious with retail. Software, software's picking up a little bit. I'm not saying buy the CTF, by the way. I'm just pointing out areas that there may be opportunity. Picking up a little bit, but tail bar, tail bar, tail bars, tail bars. That's indicative of the kind of market we're in. These things run up and they take them right back down and they're doing the same thing with the stocks. The maxless stocks. Apple, weekly on the left, daily on the right, picking up a little bit. Maybe it's, this is really aggressive, but maybe it's going to push through this level right here, right there, and I'll draw it for you. And I'm not saying it's going to, okay? Please, I don't, I don't do this. I don't do that. Perhaps it'll go through those tops there, but what does it need, what do we need to see? If it does, it needs to have a big volume pickup. It's also doing something else, and this is important. This is how we connect the dots at Mission Winners. Pushing through the line, it will also be pushing through the 50-day at basically at the same time, if that happens. But what do you want to see? You'll want to see a good market action, 
and you'll want to see it push through with really heavy volume. Okay. Also, I'm saying this again, there's been a lot of damage done in the markets. There's been a lot of fits and starts. They go up and they take them right back down. News and everything else going on. Please err to the side of caution. Good investing, remember this, good investing is not one size fits all. Adjust position size, adjust purchases, the number of shares to the current market environment. That will help you a lot, keeps you in the game. Sense. So now here's Amazon. Take that line off because it lifted through there. A little bit of resistance here. Okay, you can see this if I put it right there. A little resistance in this area. Then it fell through it, rallied up. Another one pushing through this line or through these tops right here. And know this, it doesn't need to be to the penny. Okay, folks. Pushing through this little cluster here and here. But what will it need? Really good volume pushing through that. This is an aggressive setup, just pointing it out. I'm not saying buy it, but I just want to explain things for the for everybody. There's Alibaba. You see that weekly base? Isn't that beautiful? Here's part of it, and then a continuation. This is the handle part right in here. And this is owned. This is owned. This is why, at, at Mission Works, this is why we really look at these charts. And there's nothing going on. I don't know about you, but on that weekly, that's a good move, folks. That's a really, most people like to make that much in a year, okay? Did it in three weeks. There you go. And I want to shrink this down just to show you. Entry here. Another entry through there. There you go. And trends pay. It's working. I'm not saying buy it here, please. In fact, I wouldn't buy it here. It's extended. The train's left the station. But I just want to illustrate the patterns, what, clean and simple flat bases everybody can see. And no, people talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. Look at the volume pickup on this bar versus these bars. And then look at the volume on this bar versus all these bars. They voted and we were voting with them. There we go. Baidu had a similar pattern down here, lifted up right down here, ran up, pulled back and lifted again. Is there an entry here? I'm going to go back to Baba first. Baba has a small shelf right there. Now, this is extended, okay? So, this is what I always tell people. If you buy this up here, it's very risky because it is A, extended, and B, it's a really short base. You like longer bases. If you do decide to buy, let me extend that, there we go. If you do, it push through that little shelf too. If you do, I wouldn't, I'd be careful buying it up here. How do you control risk? If you do decide to buy, just buy less shares. Good investing is not one size fits all. Adjust share size to what's going on in the stock and the markets. There we go. There's Baidu picking up here a little bit, going through these tops. A little choppy up here. It's extended. I'd be careful with that, okay? Be careful chasing extended stocks. Google gapped up on Friday on good volume, lifting across here. Here's the weekly. Is there any real clean entry right here? Not really, okay? And this is a big reversal bar here. And there was some serious selling here, but it did turn a corner. What's the, what's the underlying theme here? We're seeing more max list stocks starting to turn back up some with volume coming into them. That's a plus. It doesn't mean, oh, let's buy everything in the world. No, it's just telling us things are improving a little bit. And that's good. That's good. Always remember this too. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. Folks, they voted here. Look at the volume pickup. There you go. So just sharing that with you. I'm gonna see something else here real quick. You can see it had a fast lift here, then it went sideways, pulled back, and then it started to lift off again. Here's the hourly chart. I wanted to show this to you, I'd seen this already. This is a great lesson. This is the hourly. It lifts up on heavy volume. It pulls back on steadily decreasing volume and it forms a pennant right here. And I'm gonna draw this for you. This is an aggressive entry with some we do at Mission Winners, okay? It's a pennant, it ain't nothing fancy. You say, well, if it takes out that pennant, I'm gonna take it off now so you can see it better, okay? If it pushes through the highs of that bar with decent volume, that could be a potential buy. There you go, I'm not saying buy it, but it's just a lesson I wanted to share with you. Let's go back here to the bigger picture. <clears throat> 
Goldman Sachs, what does this tell you? I just showed you some charts that are starting to pick up. Literally, we have a limited amount of time, all of us folks, let's use it wisely, okay? There's nothing there, move on. Don't overthink it, there's nothing there. It's fallen on heavy volume, leave it alone, okay? Done. You can reach that conclusion, hopefully in less than one second, and go to the next one. MasterCard's picking up a little bit, okay? You can see right here, and the volume picked up. Now this is the daily, and this is why I have weekly over here. I'd like to show you this. There you go. You're maybe, maybe forming a great big cup and maybe it'll form a handle here and lift off. There was a lower level handle right here that it pushed through. But again, it's a little looser, be careful with it. All right, just sharing that with you. I'm not saying buy it. Pushing through, I'm not saying buy it, but watch it and see. Pushes through and fits it, maybe. So here's Meta. See that clean little base right there? Clean little shelf, going sideways for about, I don't know, eight days, and it pushed through on a slight volume pickup. Here's the, right here, you can see that little shelf, and volume started grinding into it. That's what, right here, look at the volume pickup on that bar, folks. Right here, then it followed through on this bar, pulled back a little bit on less volume. I'm not saying buy it, okay, please, but I'm just pointing out the things that we look for in the charts. Just a simple flat base on the daily. You look, take it down the hourly, find a spot. There we go. Yes, and it's a max list stock. Continue onward. Microsoft. Base seen here. Maybe take out these lines. And I'm going to draw this for you. There you go. Take that out on good volume. Could be a potential buy. But note, it's choppy, folks. A lot of overheads of supply in here. It's sloppy. It needs to push through that line on really heavy volume. That would also correspond with pushing through the 50-day, which is that green moving average. Slight volume pickup. But note, this isn't really clean and simple, so err to the side of caution here. Here's Netflix. I'm showing this. This is daily on the right, weekly on the left. Do you see this little shelf right here? Here it is on the weekly. Here it is on the daily. Pushing through right there. All right? And then... Oh, really, what's your whistle? You see back here? See this base right here? Now, it did it on a big gap up. There's an entry there. Look at the volume there. And then it pushed through. And right here, and it's working. It's working. There's Netflix. We've been in it for a while, and it's, it's still working. You just let it go. It's trending. Trending up the 21-day moving average line. That's exponential right there, the blue line. There we go. I'm not saying buy it here, but I'm just pointing out good entry. There was an entry right here. Good entry in trends pay. There we go. Also, now what caused this? That was earnings, okay? You have to be aware, and this is a very important lesson for everybody. This is compulsory. We must know the earnings dates and the times. Some stocks report before the open. You don't want any surprises. So know those dates with earnings season coming in here. There's NVIDIA. See a little space right there? It started to lift off and it picked up here, formed a little pullback, and then it started to lift up again on a pickup in volume right there. I'm gonna show you the 30 minute. See that little shelf right there? See the volume pickup on that bar? Right through here. That's the, that's the 30 minute chart. Off to the races. And some of the IPs, was, we talked about it. They bought it. There it is. It's working. It's a good start. Is it going to continue? I don't know. I don't know the future, but I do know, living in the now, that it was a good start. With a, Look at this. Runs up, pulls back, lifts off again off the 8 EMA. Is that a thing of beauty? Watch this. I'll do something for you. I'm going to get rid of this line so you can see this better. Pulls back, decreasing volume. Oh, it's coming down to the rising 8 EMA. Uh, maybe uh, everybody knows about the 8. Uh, maybe it'll bounce. Oh, gee whiz, it did. There you go. I'm not saying buy it now, but that's the setup. It works. I'll speed this up a little bit here. Tesla, we bought this right here. Ran it up. Started to pull back. We locked that in. Pulls back. It's starting to lift again. Not a lot of volume. Note this. There's a lot of news associated with Tesla right now, okay? And that's not a criticism. It's just pointing what it is. It's reality. It's like saying it's raining outside. It's not being negative. It's just, oh, it's raining. That's all. Or, or it's sunny. That's it. So picking up a little bit, a lot of overhead supply on the weekly. 
a lot of overhead supply. So just err to the side of caution with that. Visa had a base through here. Okay, we didn't do this one. All right, lift it up, pull back, and it's starting to pick up again. Okay, that's a plus. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.